you're getting murdered by overgrown rats, mini T-Rex or something similar, you came to the right place. Ok, listen here, this game can be fucking brutal even on easy sometimes, so here are some general tips that will help you at the beginning. Number 1. Don't spam your left mouse button, or in my case right button on the controller. If you spam the attack, you'll actually hit slower and you won't be able to effectively fill your combo meter. Strike right at the end of the animation, so you better learn how those animations look. Even in some reviews, I seen people spam their left click. <coughs> IGN, <coughs> idiots. Know when to attack. The first tip will be useless if you don't time your attacks well. Enemies can appear really slow sometimes in battle, but when they attack, they usually do it really fast. So for example, if you're in the middle of performing your strong attack, which takes quite a bit, you're opening yourself for a quick enemy attack, and they usually strike twice or even more than that. Also measure your distance properly, you don't want to miss and give the opponent another chance to chew on your face. Number 3. Pick your fights carefully. There's gonna be a lot of monsters and NPCs you won't be able to kill early on. Basically you're a big wimp at the beginning, so when you see the enemy with the skull above its head, you should probably come back later. This depends on the difficulty you're playing. You can see the example on the screen, right now my character is around level 10 and having big problems with this thing. They are not unkillable, but you're gonna spend a lot of resources and get around 50 XP and for simple quests you can do, you'll get a lot more, so unless you wanna be a badass like me in this video, don't do that. But it's kinda cool, you know. Number 4. Watch your stamina. On the first few levels, if you're trying to use your special attack, you're basically gonna need all of your stamina and barely pull it out. You can pull this out at the beginning of the fight, but after that good tactic would be to get a few hits in and stand back to regain some stamina. Using jetpack in those situations can be smart, just remember that you're not unreachable in the air and most enemies have some kind of range attack. Number 5. Get Animal Trophy skill ASAP. By acquiring this skill you will collect a lot of teeth and claws from any monsters you kill, which will net you a lot of exit when you sell those trophies, but it will also be useful if you decide to upgrade your weapons and armors with crafting. All in all, it's really useful skill to have, especially early on. Number 6. Get some basic gear ASAP. Whether you decide to go with the Berserkers at the beginning or any other faction, you will be able to buy some simple armors and weapons. It's not a lot of protection, but it will allow you to take some extra hits before you die. You might lack the exit, but you should pick up everything that's not nailed down and sell it for profit. Also, don't forget the previous tip for money. Number 7. Get a follower. No matter who you decide to work for, you'll be able to pick a follower by your side. For example, if you decide to stick around Goliath, you can have Duras as your follower, but you have to do a quite long quest for him. It's not that hard really, you just have to do some running and talking around the whole place, but it's really worth it. There are other options of course, such as repairing your drone that crashed with you, or do a quest for Ray, the guy who stole your stuff, or find a cleric follower who is in the location I won't spoil. Number 8. Use grenades. I bet you will find a lot of them laying around and you should not save them. When you equip them, you can choose between 3 mods, but at the beginning the most useful mod is to explode on impact and remember you can use them with the jetpack by pressing the right click or right trigger on the controller. Just don't blow yourself up. Number 9. Don't be in a hurry to join a faction. You can do a lot of quests for every faction before you decide which to join. This can net you a lot of XP, but if you're having a lot of trouble surviving, you can stick with one faction and do as much as you can for them in order to join them, but you won't become a member without accepting it first, so don't worry, you can't join one by accident. I joined the Berserkers after around 15 hours of doing quests in Idan and exploring it, and when you finally join you'll get some better armor and access to faction skills which will help a bit, but you'll still be considered as a rookie. And number 10. There are no limits. All the things we talked about can be done without doing the main quest. Take your time and decide what you wanna do. Also it's worth mentioning that Elex has an endgame. Once you finish the main quest you'll be able to do the quest you didn't finish before and even find more quests. But bear in mind since there are a lot of consequences you will be judged by some and loved by the others. The world will be in a different state that's all I'm willing to say without spoiling anything. I hope you find this interesting and helpful. If so consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content.
This could be dangerous. That's enough now. 